All right, let's take a look at how corner pin works with our zombies text selected. Go up to the effect menu to distort to corner pin. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. There's really just these four points here and those are animatable. Let's zoom up here. And what I can do is directly grab those four points individually and move them around like this. And what that will allow us to do, as you can see, it distorts the rest of the layer and gives it a kind of perspective effect depending on how you move these points around. So what in fact we're going to be doing, oops, didn't mean to do that. What in fact we're going to be doing is moving these points around to line up with our sign here. Something like this. And as you can see, this will kind of line up and obscure the detour sign. And we're going to do some other processing to make it look a little bit more realistic. So we can do that, of course, on the first frame. But then as soon as it starts moving around, it loses the registration. And so what we need to do is track those points and then automatically apply those to these corners of the corner pin effect and then it will generate the necessary distortion to make it look like this sign is attached to the detour sign. So let's in fact delete that. Let's get back to our four point stabilization. We'll select this pre-composed layer here that's been stabilized. We'll do a track motion and under the track type we want to choose perspective corner pin which is going to generate four tracking points here for us to work with. So the tracker works the same way, basically, these four-point trackers work basically the same way as the stabilized tracker, except that, of course, we have a lot more, we have a lot more detail to be concerned about here because we have four points. So what I'm going to do, my track points are going to be two corners of the text here, two corners of the letter, and two corners of the arrow. That should give us reasonably clean tracks here. What I'm going to do is just zoom these in here a little bit, get them a little tighter on those features. Let's zoom up again. Now the other thing is that the sign that we want to distort is going to cover up this text here. So in fact, the attach points, which is ordinarily where we would be generating that information from that's going to be applied to the corner pin, are in fact not going to be located here. We want to put those in a different location. And you'll see that we will get that move attach point cursor if we put our cursor right on the crosshair. And this lets us move the attach point without having to move the tracker. Oop, I got the tracker there. I got the wrong one. You have to look closely to make sure you get the right cursor to do the right kind of move. It'll be easier to grab them when they're outside of these trackers. So I want to position that so it's going to distort the sign and cover up the word detour here. So by doing so, I'm going to reposition these. Tighten this up a little bit. So you've probably noticed that moving these feature regions around, the initial position of the feature regions will also move those attach points. So we have to make sure that we adjust those correctly when we're adjusting all these other things too to make sure that our attach points are in the correct position here. I want this to look like it's going to be kind of squared off essentially when we start and that's going to establish our perspective. Make this a good size just to make sure it's going to cover up all those letters. And I'm going to adjust these points, tighten them up a little bit. And let's try the track. We'll do this frame by frame here because I suspect it's going to be difficult. Right there is going to be a hard part. In fact, I was right. It lost it because it got so blurry. All right, so we'll just move that. Make sure that 
everything else is still in place more or less. Lost it again. This is a hard track as I pointed out. Let's just make sure that we adjust our attach points as well. Ooh, got really wacky there. Okay. And as before, we may need to move our attach points around once we adjust our feature regions, just to make sure that the sign is going to be attached in the right places here. Holding on a little better now that the camera is stabilized a little bit more. Let's keep stepping through, hoping for the best. It's tracking actually very well, considering it's got to do these four points and that Compression is changing frame to frame, so there's a lot of details changing there. Let's scale down. It's still holding on quite well. I think we might have a good first track here. It's actually quite good. All right, in our next video, Let's take our sign and apply it there and see what happens.